are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that. And you're one of us. There's no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing... there. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> Not through lack of trying? Nah. Not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright... Pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. Reckon we'll skip the saloon this time, kid. <laughs> no doubt. A night to forget. Yeah, next time I know what you mean by a couple of drinks. <laughs> whiskey's got me in more trouble than a pistol ever has. What's that about whiskey? Uh, <laughs> Keep going, Miss Jones. Passing you. Hold. Hold. Keep it down now. We're here. Good morning. Howdy. Actions, water quality.
Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready.
Dan? Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? So which one? Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. You're the only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. <laughs> now where is he? You're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Where is he? Where is he? Uh, Have uh, you uh, seen him? I, I really think you should leave, madam. I'm not leaving till I find him. Boy. Okay, Lord, we're going. Your sex, no, hold on. Wait you? till she's got him real down. Like you don't know me. Oh, stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right, hands go. up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Don't no hurt us! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh! Oh, you think we're here to fail? Come on! Come on! Yeah. Oh. Open the goddamn vault! Oh. Oh. Open it! Oh. Oh. Too goddamn oh. slow! Oh. How's it looking? Are you in? Nearly. This son of a bitch needs to get a move on! Okay. Okay. Come on. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. I'm in! Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. <clears throat> you shut the hell up and stay still! Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Come on, make it quick. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. How are you getting on? Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. How's it looking there? Good. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. A few more minutes. Keep a lookout. 
that at the door. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me?
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, this is Downs. Yeah. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
was adventuring and wandering over mountain paths, being chased and running for our lives. Uh, we agreed with you. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know, I'd think you'd the same age as them silly girls. Oh, away with you, silly man. Oh, no, no. If I was five years younger, or a thousand dollars with You're a fine woman. Oh, you keep it hidden under you that sour vinegar face. As a nasty acid tongue. But I know that's just a rose of thorns. Evening, Arthur. We should hang our heads in shame. They remembered to rob the goddamn bank in Valentine. <laughs> rest of us, rest of us are slipping. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Good to see you. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... Okay. I'm not quite sure. We'll get some sleep.
you okay, Doc? Okay, Miss Grimshaw. Well, I never been. Dance with me, Come Arthur. On. Just for Dance a minute. Dance with me. Just like being a normal girl. Oh, being normal's good, is it? <laughs> no. What aspects of it is? That's the problem. Your horses won't be long. Hey, mister. Hello. Can I help you? <gasps> oh, my. You are a bad person. Hey, mister. Hello. Good to see Manners ain't dead yet. You enjoy the rest of your day. So long. How do you do, sir? How's your luck? Not good at all.
But you won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. You and me, we understand each other. Quite right. Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, Come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off? And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my aunt. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. I ain't gone yet. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. 
it's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Sorry, church grounds are closed. Okay, it's uh, good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. Sure would. Uh, hey, look, we're closed for some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard! Come on! Got some nerve on you! Ah, oh, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees. You. Can't believe it's come to this. All right. Well, uh, I'm out of here. That's more than than clear what I what I owe you. I've been dreaming of iron like this since I was a boy. Damn fine piece right there. I've been practicing. Told you I was good. Ah. Won't someone help me? Out of the way. Back the hell. 
hell off of me! What in the hell? You'll be fine! Hardly doing? touched you. Hey, boy. Mr. Morning, partner. You said. Well, look at you. Hey, welcome back. Got anything good for me by any chance? Sure, let me see.
You have a swell one now. Get him. Space for rent if you're interested. That's the same one I use, too. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. You're gonna want a saddle that fits for you and the horse. I'm thinking of putting signs up for the shop along those bumpy roads just down the way. I think that'd bring in some business. You're gonna feel the difference. Trust me. That's the same one I use, too. It's well worth the price. Yeah, that'll go real well with the saddle.
Oh yeah, that's a smart choice for your saddle. go real well with the saddle. No harm in gussying your horse up. Yeah, good looking horse now. I'll make this horse prettier than you. <laughs> A good choice. Anything to keep the horses happy, right? Come back anytime. I'm always happy to stable that horse. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items herein to the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Ledger, watch, pistol. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. Okay. Where's all this old crap?
Paw. God damn it. Uh, a trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, come on, Dan! Where are you going? Oh. Come on! Son of a bitch! I'll stick you! Pistol, now the watch and ledger. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh. Rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred. Just a damn watch. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company.
That's the old watch. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help... about us just when they needed us they threw us away like like shit on their boot I'm... oh man oh man <laughs> you sh show some respect I was respected once I had a profession you asked me to get you something there's no bringing back what I want I want my job my pride the respect accorded to a gentleman what about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! Oh. Easy. Just hold on there, boy.
Okay there, boy. Come on now, boy. Come on, folks, time to eat. Do you want it cooked right or not? Why are you dressed as a sheriff? Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I will. Can't wait to taste this. Thank you, Arthur.